What's good guys, LM7 here, doing another review for the new line of sets that came out on September 4th. This time it's the second and final uh, buildable figure that I have, General Grievous. Alright, 75, 112, ages 9 to 14, uh, 186 pieces, and is 34.99. It, uh, in general, Grievous is the biggest of the buildable figures in this little wave. Um, he's bigger than Darth Vader, and all you know, obviously the normal size people. So let's see, just good, you know, pose of General Grievous, buildable figure shows you can you know move all the joints and all that fun stuff. Uh, oh. If we look. We're not gonna, we're gonna focus. There you go. You can see Grievous fighting Obi Wan in the background with some super battle droids and all that fun stuff, just like in the Battle of Utapau. And then on the back, what do we got? What do we got? The usual stuff. Um, you know, nothing. Nothing. Hang on. There we go. Nothing spectacular. Just shows you different features. Any other people? Commander Cody, Jango Fett, Obi-Wan, Luke, and Darth Vader. Uh, the instruction booklet is a little bigger in this one than compared to Commander Cody that I showed in an other video. But this one is also same in length, um, 30 pages long, and it gives you your final model of General Grievous. And then there's one little picture I wanted to show. You know, obviously they, there's six of them, so each of them has their little partner. And General Grievous is partnered with Obi-Wan, obviously. But that's weird because the Obi-Wan that they made is in the Clone Wars, and this is Episode 3, General Grievous. Whatever, let's... That's... Technicalities. So... Looking at Grievous, he's obviously quite large. Um, he's bigger than most sets that are, you know, a hundred dollars. But he's also just a he's also made as a playable figure, so they have to they have to make him bigger. But let's look at some of the details. You can see his chest detail and his face, and there, you know, great great detailing. Uh, very accurate to the movie, um, especially his color scheme. Usually they make him white, and he's not exactly white. He's he's like his armor shows. He's a little off white, kind of peachy, kind of colored. Uh, here's his big clawed feet. Each toe does move. Um, the armor plating moves because it's just on, it's on a like a ball and socket joint. But I would. His legs and feet do move, but I personally like this position as the easiest one for him to stand. So, if you wanted to look to see how I have that position, kind of like on the box, but a little less, uh, they have it bent a little more than I do. But you do, I mean, he's so tall, you can just stand him here and you can, but, you know, like all of his arms move, of course, independently. What I did want to show, though, is the new um, lightsaber pieces they use for this, and they're they're kind of elastic, so they kind of bend a little bit. But you know, they each have it's hard to tell, but they each have this new little gray piece, and it's just two Technic rods holding it in. Lightsabers is a single piece by itself, and you just stick it in his hand because it can hold the Technic joint. But, you know, there's, no, it's not, there's nothing really special about it. And one of the, the main feature of General Grievous is if you get rid of one of his lightsabers, you can actually clip his arms together like in the movie I mean, that's not exactly right. You're supposed to take this off and clip his hands together, but that's very tedious, and I don't really want to do all that. But they do give you the piece to clip his arms together, and so you can 
you know, if you wanted to recreate the scene in episode three and separate his arms, you can do so. Then you know, just goes like this, and then he spins his hands, and all of his lightsabers turn on. So there's all that, and I want to make a small correction. I thought uh, the normal size figures were 12 inches tall, but they're about eight and a half or nine. General Grievous is actually 12 and a half inches tall, and I think Darth Vader's a foot tall. So, um, it's kind of funny though, the way they paired them. Like General, they have it paired Obi Wan with General Grievous. And that makes sense, but like I said, it's a Clone Wars Obi-Wan. So in that case, Commander Cody, which is also going to be used as a size comparison, so you can see the difference between them. I mean, General Grievous is huge compared to Commander Cody. But he also does have a hundred more pieces than the uh, Clone Commander. Anyway, like I was saying, this pair actually works more because this is an Episode Three Commander, and that's episode three, General Grievous. Whereas uh, Django Fett, I don't, you know, it doesn't ever say that he talks to Commander Cody personally, like it's they're suggestively paired. Well, Clone Wars Obi Wan would be a closer fit to the Django Fett since they fought in episode two. But that was just a, you know, that's just my thoughts on that slight issue. It's not really an issue, but. What are you going to do? Just a, just a thought. And it also showed you how much bigger General Grievous is compared to uh, the average figure size. And let's just quickly show what the back looks like. I mean, they do have some armor plating on the back, you know, here and here. But otherwise, it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's obviously all Technic built. And it's not usually my favorite thing, but General Grievous is pretty fun to build. He's He's mildly complicated too as why he has a 9 to 14 um, age range which is usually for the big the bigger sets in, in waves so question you might be having is is the general worth the pretty decently high price tag of $35 I'd say so he's much bigger than you think he's going to be and it's just the, the sheer look of him displayed is nice. Like, personally, I like this General Grievous more than the the Ultimate Collector's model of General Grievous that they came out with uh, a couple years ago. So, you know, it's give or take. This is all Technic, though. I mean, if you don't like Technic, obviously, then this is probably not going to be your favorite set, but I don't like Technic much, and I thought it was it was fun to build. I mean, you know, I had to get adjusted a little bit, but it was fun to build, and the final product is very well designed and definitely worth the price tag. So, you know, if you get, you can make a pretty decent scene if you get uh, Obi-Wan, Commander Cody, and General Grievous. And you, I mean, it's also a great looking display model, even if you don't want to, you know, duel with Obi-Wan, I suppose. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you could leave a like and comment, I appreciate all that, and it helps me out. With, you know, all that fun, lovey-dovey stuff. And uh, yeah, this is the last buildable figure I have. So if these aren't really your thing, then you know, just skip over these and wait a little longer. And uh, the episode seven sets will be reviewed shortly, and I'll get them up as soon as I can. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later.